What's poppin'? Brand new year about to hop in. Hey. Yeah, turn down, Jack. Turn down. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Counterbalance Solutions, where we're even in the playing field. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. But if you're not, welcome back. Okay, so what I wanted to come today, you guys, with is a really just what I believe you need to jumpstart your career in retail arbitrage, y'all. Like, I swear, if I knew what I knew from day one, I would be definitely 10 times further. But also, you guys, I mean, there's just so many tips and tricks that I learned along the way that if you're literally thinking about getting into it, if you're trying to change your life, if you are still a little iffy and not sure, or you feel like you don't really know like where to go or how to start, this video is going to be for you. Now, I do suggest before obviously doing anything, putting your money into anything, do your research. Do that book work. I keep telling y'all that, I mean, research is really, like, knowledge is king for real because most of the stuff I learned, I learned free, you guys. All you got to do is learn free. So... I really hope that this video is going to help someone. And yeah, I really hope that you guys like, share, subscribe, and let's go ahead and jump in. So number one, obviously you're going to need a seller's account. That shouldn't be, that's common sense. All right. So seller's account, but the really number one I believe you need is Keepa, you guys. So once you get your seller's account and once you get Keepa, like you if you ask me i would strongly suggest before you like truly just invest a whole bunch of money and honestly you can even do this before you get um before you get you can even do this before you get your seller's account because Keepa, you can actually just go to Amazon.com, look up the ASIN number at the bottom, like I showed y'all, you better check it out, look up the ASIN number, and then you can just put that into Keepa, and Keepa will still show you that information. So if you ask me, like Keepa would really be number one before I would do any, before I even put my $40 in, I would have definitely got Keepa and at least found like maybe one or two products that probably like two products that I thought would sell really well that had a really good BSR on Keepa or camel camel camel.com or app sorry both um so yeah that's what I definitely would suggest first if before you do put any money in or anything like that look at some products see what's out there you know what I'm saying like if you even just go on Amazon and just search for different stuff. Like what I do, I like to go to, um, for instance, I'll literally put a category. I'll be like garden supplies and I'll just see what's the first items that pop up. And then I'll just look at stores in my area and see how much they are. And that's really kind of where I would start. I mean, to be honest, it's, it's free and it gives you like that step up that when you get in you already have an idea of what where to go like to get so that's really my number one keep get that get it okay so next you guys let's get into the material so let's say you ready to go you uh decide fuck it i'm all in okay we gonna bleep that <laughs> you decide i'm all in let's go okay you go ahead and you get your seller's account because obviously you got to have a seller's to sell anything. Now, the materials you need, you're going to need a printer for sure. And if you ask me, if you're really like on a budget, like I said, I started with 700, y'all. So I was trying to save wherever I could. That way I could put it into my products and into my inventory. So I would strongly suggest, strongly suggest getting... Um, a thermal printer and if I have a video showing y'all how to do the thermal printer and a scale because you need a scale like I promise you you need a male scale and I say that because I even got like a little Walmart scale you guys and let me tell you until you it was off so make sure like you get those but like I already showed you in the video I can get it to you for the low low 
so i'll make sure i will make sure to put that in the description below for you guys so you'll need a printer you'll need a scale obviously you'll need ink paper boop um but after that you guys i would also strongly suggest to review shipping rates strongly suggest review different shipping materials and their hazard levels because for instance like aerosols things like that they have certain ways you have to ship them you can't just ship them normal so um i would strongly suggest to just kind of look at that especially if you already have an item it really it really helps to i guess put it into realistic perspective i guess is where i'm going with that <laughs> so that's what i would strongly suggest get familiar with shipping material and also find a company be ready with the company to buy your shipping material from because once you get that sale you literally have two days to get it out and for me i be trying to get my sales out literally the same day if i can because i'm just trying to have really good metrics and hopefully be able to be open to major brands you know what i'm saying nike i'm coming for you can i say that i don't know oh also when you're looking at your shipping materials don't look at all different kinds because don't forget you guys different companies have different rules even your local places will have um different rules some may have minimum orders and some may not um you know you always have to think about how much it costs for shipping if you ask me i definitely think uline is a great company so they have uh have it where you can get it the same day but it does I mean, it's like a, a little charge depending on how much you need. So, um, but it's worth it. So definitely make sure that you are doing your research into your companies. But hey, that's a good one to put in your pocket if you just jumping in and you're ready to go. So now once you have all that, right, you know, source your product, you set up for your seller's account, you got your stuff to be able to send the products or at least know where to get the stuff to be able to send uh send out your inventory you are ready for the next step and if you ask me you guys sorry i keep looking down y'all because i wrote it down because y'all know i'm slow so let me get to my information paper y'all don't mind me i'm like so tired okay um but nah so after you have all that you guys i believe that you are ready for the next step and if you ask me you want to do this in the beginning as well get your sole proprietor i've already um kind of explained how to get your tax id number and that pretty much is going to be able to give you that sole proprietorship I'll make sure to also link that in the video down below. But that way you can get ungated as fast as possible. Y'all, when you're new, one of the hardest things is sourcing because everything is gated. Especially at times like this, a lot more stuff go to gated um, because it's Q4, like a lot more stuff. So y'all will definitely want to get ungated as fast as possible. That's like one of... Um, my strong suggestions is like get ungated as fast as possible Justin get that so proprietorship it's free it's free depending on where you live just do your book work y'all do your research get it okay get ungated <laughs> hey next thing I would suggest um one obviously talk to your local stores a lot of local stores um even like Lowe's Home Depot smaller chains um, they do offer commercial accounts. So once you have that tax ID, you can not only like, oh, you know, go to big wholesalers, like regular wholesalers. That way you can get ungated because you do have to go to like a regular wholesaler to get ungated. Um, but you can also like get those accounts with the big local um like manufacturers but the big places like home depot and lowe's and that way your tax is in and it's a little cheaper for you so i'm all about saving so that's one of my things so i definitely suggest i guess kind of like picking an avenue and sticking with it because let me tell y'all it big be it becomes a lot i say to pick maybe two or three stores to start with 
do not overwhelm yourself because it's very easy to overwhelm yourself there's so many items out there you guys so much stuff to source sorry there's my back on by there's so much stuff to source um it's very easy to get overwhelmed so make sure you choose a spot and you stick with it so what a lot of places don't know is like little stores sometimes um even like big chains let me give y'all examples stuff like um like hardware stores and stuff like that like chain types of hardware stores uh they offer like commercial accounts so you may want to also check with them because for instance you guys i have a wholesale uh, uh i tell y'all <laughs> i can't give y'all too much sauce but I have one of my biggest sellers. I was going to like all their stores, all their little stores and trying to get uh, the item. And finally, I guess I went to one of their locations and they let me know, hey, like we're our own franchise. We offer commercial accounts and we can just do this for you, blah, 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 blah. And so y'all, it makes network network I cannot stress that enough because had I would have not been talking and you know chatting with the um, red per lady at the register she would have never been like oh boo 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 so y'all don't just ask questions and like I said once you find like a local wholesaler or like a store like I said Home Depot um even maybe some places like grocery stores and stuff maybe may have some commercial accounts but don't be scared to ask questions because hey once you can get your foot in that door let me tell you and get the price down when you start talking big numbers it makes a difference you guys it really makes a difference okay so that's pretty much the big stuff that's everything you need from the sourcing perspective from and getting merchandise okay so let's talk about back the back side um as for your back office needs you guys i strongly suggest to get like a receipt app um something that's gonna be able to keep all of that now don't get me wrong you do i strongly suggest to keep your paper copies because just in case you never know you lose your phone i don't know but um make sure that you get this app because let me tell you these receipts add up and it's just easier to keep up with that way um you know you're not always fiddling with paper constantly because it 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 bulks up okay like i have a box okay just i it's okay so that's one thing you definitely need my other suggestion is to get an app that tracks your sales and your profit um something like inventory lab i actually personally don't use inventory lab i actually use a different um service now i'll put it in the description below because i can't remember their name at this time but i'll also put it somewhere over here so y'all can see but i'd strongly suggest just to get like an app to track that profit um because you want to make sure you're making profit this is for nothing if you're not making profit so you want to make sure that you really are keeping up with that that you're making sure that um you know your your numbers are adding up because day by day you're going to be looking at different different people coming on the listing you're going to be looking at different prices changing you're going to be looking at you trying to be more competitive as well now don't get me wrong i ain't saying nickel and dime everything but you do want to be competitive as long as you're still making money and it's still worth it for you like for me i try and make no less than like 30 percent roi and honestly i would prefer to make 50 percent roi because i really want to flip my money i don't want it to just be sitting here i want it to you know what i'm saying yeah so make sure you get an app to keep up with that and making sure that you know what your real numbers are so my last thing i really do want to say is make sure you guys to change your inventory placement when you're new especially if you're doing a lot of fba you know or you will know like 
trying to send it to all these different places it's a lot and like i said sometimes it's only one or two items and so it's not really worth it with the shipping because then you have to raise your price and it's just just get the inventory placement trust me all right last but not least you guys last but not least you guys if i was to suggest anything else after you've done all this, you ready to go. You already at least sending one of books. If you don't start nowhere, if you ain't got nothing to sell, if you can't come up with nothing, start with books, okay? Um, but there's so much. But yeah, once you do all this and you are ready to go and you are moving and you one, two, three months in, you payability, y'all. I cannot. This ain't even sponsored, okay? Not yet. Not yet, because I'm going to reach out. Watch. What, give me a year, y'all. Give me a year. Like, no BS, though. Like, payability truly has given me the ability to grow my business two times fold, for sure. Like, y'all, the December has absolutely been my best month this month you guys i literally was able to flip 10k now 10k is sales but 50 percent of that was profit all right so like i said i wanted to show y'all so y'all ain't think i was capping on you so y'all see them sales you see the gross profit yeah it's like that because not only did i have I found good products like that are really low that I can constantly source wholesaling y'all wholesaling is where it is for me um I definitely that's gonna be kind of my market but y'all will see what all I do because y'all I got please 2021 2021 get it all right sorry y'all sorry had a dance break moment <laughs> But nah, y'all. Um, but for real, for real, like, they really just changed the game for me to be able to just grow. And I just am grateful, y'all. Like, for real, y'all, I really want y'all to just know. Like I told y'all, you put the work in, God will put the blessing. When I was looking for this, you know, like, to find this opportunity, I was, like, doing all types of, like, business ideas and I literally was able to find this and it has just changed it has changed so much of my life so I mean I really just hope this video helps someone I really hope you go out there and you um don't be scared to jump you guys don't be scared to jump because let me tell you let me tell you I leaped okay and I can fly you can too okay like, don't be scared. 2021 is all about you and and just growing yourself and becoming what you want to be. And if it's this, then I hope this video helps. And I really hope this jumpstart helps you jumpstart your future. So um, like, share, subscribe, you guys. And I hope to see you guys in 2021. Ah! Bye.